Hello, welcome to my channel Designs. In today's video, we'll be looking at mastering 3D modern logo design in CorelDRAW. We'll be covering simple tools like the shadow tools, uh, interactive field tools, using the smart feed tool, and typography. So without any further ado, let's get on board. So we'll start out with the ellipse tool. Okay. Hold down your control, click and drag to make a perfect circle. We'll be working with 100 by 100 millimeters for this. And um, now to duplicate this, you can copy and paste. You need a second circle, so let's make a second circle 60 by 60 millimeters. So another way you can get another circle, I need a third circle, you can press the plus key on your numeric keyboard, keypad on your keyboard, then um, the size of our second, our third circle is going to be 80 by 80 millimeters. Okay, so now select this and align this to the right. Okay, so you can still have that turns out perfectly well. You can zoom in and see how it aligns well. So you select or hold down your control key. Okay. Hold down your control key and uh, move. So when you get to the quadrant, when you choose your quadrant, you right click to duplicate. So you have a second copy. Okay, so having done this, you can zoom in. All right. So now you want to create a strip on this both object. So I just select them, um, group, pick a rectangle to click and drag. Okay, and select press the letter E to align. E and T to align to the center. Okay, the height of this strip we want to make should be 20 millimeters. Okay. So now I want to divide this into two equal parts. So from this side, just flip, click, and get to the center. Right click to duplicate, and hold on your control to flip this. Reduce this uh, other object. We want to make the letter E. So pick from the node, align it to. Uh, let's pick from here so you can easily align to the edge of this right click to duplicate to so select all for group so let's start creating this object okay making the letter e so just zoom in pick the smart fit tool all right um fill here with the shape to just want to cover up all this other path okay another way you can do this with your smart feed to with the segment delete you can just tick off the path you don't need okay um, if you take this part off take this part take this off Okay, uh, zoom in, click this part, click this part, click this part, and we have this tiny one here, zoom in closely, take up this part, okay, see so how that blends in so well, so with interactive field to smart view, so this is what we want so you can select and make a copy of this so we need the second path the second path of this is creeping here so this path should take up here here Okay. 
and can zoom in to see this little detail. Alright, so the smart feature, we got this down with this move. That snaps clean to that, so I can take this apart. Should I need it? Okay, the one more part is missing. This part, this here. Okay. So we group and flip to the left and right. Select the node. And just move and align that so I can take this apart. So this is what we have here. That's what we're working with. So if I weld it, see what happened. Okay, that's not my uh, undo and I would rather use the create boundaries. Okay, if you create boundaries, so this is what we have. So I can delete this guy and this is what we have. So I want to create shadows for this part. Okay, so um, we can do this by using a freehand tool. Freehand tool. From this node to this node, drag and align this node. Same thing here. Okay, the shape to can edit this node. Right click, convert it to curve, just align it to the existing one. Same thing for this one. Right click, select convert to curve. Okay. You can zoom in so you have and also change the color so you just see you can see knowing it's aligning properly or not okay select the line and uh, let me change the color of this convert it to curve so you can see how uh, that aligns well uh, let's check out this I think something it's not looking right here feel the color so you can see that so we have this perfectly suited so click and drag select all of them and group apply shadows on it click and drag okay so now our shadow opacity 100 50 is okay and 15 so let's use the feathering direction we want it to be outside okay so align this back to the center of it see how this turns out well so we want to park it all of this so you can go to your edit object menu power clip place on the inside all right uh, we edit this this inside uh, break this apart break this apart uh, we can break this apart and delete the object okay so we click on finish so this is what we have now to make a reflection of this click and drag all right so when you flip this you can flip uh, or vertically so let's pick this pick this node Click and drag, so just align it 
Okay, so this fits perfectly well. Now you can see to get this effect, I need just this reflection here. I just go into this one, convert this up with the edit to convert it to power and take this cover up this part finish so this is what we have so for this inner part that is here let's just create on that to be part of this page down and uh, we can interact with you to get that part just remove the fill okay i need a shadow on it so this time we're going to be applying the inner shadow inner shadow so click and drag within this object and uh, shadow feathering we're going to use 30 30 and the direction it's outside outside 30 okay so i think this is fine uh, for the opacity 50 is still okay so you still have the same resolution with others okay so now we can select all of this uh we are done we need this one so but i don't need to put it down here i just have a better view zoom into this okay so select all and uh, time to use our interactive view to we can drag a lot so this is what we have this time we are going to be making use of um let's make use of um for the upper part let's use the thing Okay, so this is what we have. So we still have this portion. We still need uh, this. So let's get it out here and um, delete this part. Ungroup it and delete this part. Okay. Sure, this is black. Yeah, transparency to apply transparency to this this is fine by me we we'll do the same thing for this portion See how that turns up. Duplicate, flip this. Okay. All right, so this is it. Pick up the outlines. Alright, um, put it aside. So to create a reflection, select for group from the top, hold and control, click and drag, right click, you have the reflection. So to apply transparency to this, if I apply the transparency, you can see I have several things already that have transparency. So 
so to make them one object convert to bitmap so from your bitmap menu convert to bitmap resolution 300 color mode rgb okay just leave all of this as is and click on ok so they are one object right now so apply transparency on it click and drag so you can see how that turns out very well okay so this is what we have um, so if you're new to this channel consider subscribing if you find value in this tutorial give it a thumbs up subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified when next we post another video share this video as it will help every designer out there whether you're a pro or a starter so thank you for watching and see you in my next video